This one's called Three's a Crowd, and it uses a regular deck of cards. I hope you can see that at home. We're trying a different angle because we've tried to shoot this, and this looks perfect like this. All the deck can be looked at as much as you like. It's just a regular deck of cards. You can show all the fronts and all the backs. You don't have to hide anything or anything like that. And you tell them that you're going to do a trick called Three's a Crowd, and it uses just the threes. Um, I use any first three you come to. It doesn't really matter. I just use the first three threes. I'll put them clearly here so you can see. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll actually remove the other three, not to complicate anything. That's the three of diamonds, by the way. I've just moved out of shot. So you're only using three threes and the rest of the cards. No other cards at all. Um, the idea of the trick is um, you're going to mix the cards. I'll show you. Watch. Any card, three. Any, three. Any, three. And all you do is you turn them once, turn them twice, give a little shake, and the three threes separate themselves. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do it again. Um, let's give them a little cut and a mix like this, so we know that we're getting random cards. This time we'll do it face up for you. Any, three. Any, three. Any, three. And I do hope you can see that clearly. Fingertips. Like this. All you do, turn them once, turn them twice, give a little shake, snap, and all three threes and now separated again. All three threes can be fully examined at the beginning and at the end of the trick. There's nothing for them to see, front and back. Unbelievable, you can show every single card. There are no extra threes at all, all the way through, from top to bottom. And that is a miracle for a fiver, and it's called Threes a Crowd.